four, three, two, one. Hello guys and welcome back to Lina. It's your host, Ardi. Hey, it's Doll. Hello, it's Rashmita. It's your mademoiselle, Brasa. <laughs> <laughs> so today we will talk about tips on applying for university and jobs from our experience. Then we will also talk about what to do after your college. And finally, we will also discuss what your employer wants from you. 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 <laughs> so I guess hey. first Nazi, we will we should, we should. <laughs> start uh, with um, Kevin City applying to university. Should we do that? Yeah, first? we can do that. Yeah. One, okay. So it's basically we're just gonna it's from experience as it is. So should I just start? Yeah, <laughs> you, just, you just start. We'll just say. Whatever. Kind of leading on from the Poyla, I mean, record recently Poyla video. Mm -hmm. um, do your research, yeah. Like that's the first advice that I would say. Again, possibly regret on the success. So, mm -hmm. like literally, you have information like in the can the palm of your hand. Literally, like Google it. Everything is there for you to see. Yeah. Um, definitely do your research. That would be my first important. It advice. is the age of the internet, so make full <laughs> use of it. Oh yes, 100%. Yeah. Google.com, Bing.com, <laughs> Yahoo.com. Yahoo Anyways, <laughs> any other advice? YouTube.com. <laughs> That's the thing guys, you can like, I did my portfolio for fashion looking at YouTube, so there's nothing wrong with going onto YouTube for advice. There's mm. actually a lot of yeah, there's coaches out there. Yeah, there's advice like for interview tips as well. Yeah. yeah. Yep, yep, yep. What to wear? What to take? Your body posture. Your oh, wait, no, no, no. As well, like? Let's go with the university first. And <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Sidetrack. <laughs> Touch food. Okay. Okay, anyone else? Hmm? If not, then I'll go for the next one. Yeah, no, just keep reading. Yeah. Okay, so the next one is again referring back to Poy Lako video. Don't be afraid to take gap year or um, even half a year. Just mm -hmm. time off if you need it. Uh, so yeah, don't rush into it. If you need to take that time, go for it. That's another one. Maybe doing your time off, you can do the research then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do your proper research. You can explore a bit more about like the subject that you really want to dive into. And like during that time as well, you can also um, kind of figure out maybe if it's not what you want to do as well. Yeah. So it can go both ways. Do it as soon as possible, like if you're applying for unis, the UCAS thing. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Is it the end of January you have to apply till? Yeah. January, February. Yeah. Like some people leave it to the end of the month to finish it, complete mm -hmm. it. So yeah. don't go after that Nepali time, do it Gora <laughs> time this time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you have enough time to prepare your Kyanza. Personal uh, statement. Yeah, personal statement. You're yeah. more likely to make a mistake if you're going to rush it mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, because you with tutors you can talk to them about your drafts and stuff like, mm -hmm. if you have got oh yeah that's a good one so like teachers are hunza tutors are hunza make use of them like yeah. use them basically yes. use them they are help there you. for that yeah. yeah don't be shy go for it go ask for help yeah There's talk to like wrong. as many people as you can like seriously and I don't think like we did that enough back in our time mm. and yeah. we probably regret that quite a bit mm. yeah and going off the UCAS thing as well, for me, like when I applied for fashion, at the time UCAS was already closed in Zuni, like because it was around March time. Um, so the other advice that I would give from my personal experience is if there is something that you know 100% that you want to do, like for example, a subject that you want to do, and maybe there's like top three or four universities mm -hmm. that you're interested in, don't be afraid to direct them con uh, di contact them directly because that's what I did and that's how I managed to get into fashion without UCAS gifts. So there's, that's another option for you. Mm -hmm. And um, make sure you're applying for the course, not the university. Oh, yes, like, yeah, like we said in the uh, our other video, like it might be convenient for you to apply for the ones close to you. Yeah. But um, yeah, the far ones are good as the near ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Uh, what was I gonna say with the subjects? Yes, the subject or the hey, is it research? When when you research for the subject, um, usually a lot of the times your university go website means okay, based on the subject that you choose, um, it will have a year one, my your subject one, the mm -hmm. year two, my subject one. So like look through that and see whether that's interesting to you or not, yeah. whether you that's the area that you want to go to, and also from that maybe look into what are the option like career options you can have. Um, to Subject project, okay. Yeah. Look at that as well. 
because yeah uh, most of the times like the university website will like outline the modules that you will be learning throughout like your three years so like definitely do look into that and you like um modules are my like um research into that so that will be quite helpful 100 <laughs> percent mm. And you know, kun kun um, like nursing course or like any course, mm. like um, you don't have to get the best grades, I guess. I know, cause you can get like, um, you don't have to get A stars, so mm, You yeah. can also get B and C and still get into it. Don't yeah. put off. You yeah, don't like always have to get. Different unis have yeah. different yeah, some criteria. Criteria. Yeah. criteria. Yeah. You don't always have to choose like the oh top five of the UK, top five for all this all <gasps> that. That's a good, that reminds me, like, um, when I applied for nursing, I did, like, two top universities mm. and three, like, lower, like, universities mm. that I know that I can get into, okay? Yeah. So don't, I guess, since I need, don't, don't fall, apply for all yeah. top. Don't fall into that pressure. Yeah. yeah. But, Always have a backup. Yeah. yeah. So, with that saying, but don't also apply for a low, low matra. Like, give, like, when you spread it apart and just higher low mm. <laughs> Yeah. Also, when applying for statements or doing a personal statement, be yourself. Yeah. Yeah, don't try to like just blag it because like yeah. about interview, when you get to the interview, it is going to be a bit complicated because they will ask you, okay, so I read into read your, your uh, personal statement. Yeah, they and they will read it. Of course they will. Yeah. And then yeah. they will expect you to know that personal yeah. statement by heart because you have written it. Written it. Um, so know what you're writing, people, please. <laughs> uh, also, um university you know how all you, know, you said when you apply for a course look at the course not the location mm. but which kind of links to what i was about to say like it kind of goes against it in mm -hmm. a sense mm -hmm. but you tell you, uh, basically what i'm trying to say is when you apply for a university look at the accommodation it's a bit different though. Mm -hmm. look at the uh, accommodation because for me nursing go like i said um main course yeah main sub university eco campus is here their accommodation is here but whereas my subject was like all the way there mm -hmm. and there was no nearby student accommodation yeah so definitely look into accommodation as well i like, consider that we know whether you want to live in a student accommodation this is a flat or do you want to share a house or do you want to travel from home definitely look into that so with like any um the course you're applying for mm -hmm. like um do work experience, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Because oh, that's yes. like a bonus to mm. the course you're applying for. Yeah. yeah. That and um, on top of that, I just wanted to add. Um, I wrote this down. So yeah. Um. So when you go into, like, let's say you don't know what you want to get into, and now, is I would definitely say go out there, reach out to companies, and do internship. I know it's like mm. oh free ma ke kam but yeah. honestly you will get so much experience out of it. And a possible CV to you you can write it down, you can um, kind of relate to it. And oh my you already said this is why, but mm. you can go into that, and then it will also help you to first get a sense of and what it's like there in the real world, but also and then whether you see yourself in that position in a few years. Like is that what you really want to do? And then you get an idea of it. So definitely do your internship or when you got it go out there get some experience and then i would 100 percent if i could go back yeah. in time that's what i would yeah. do instead yeah. of rushing straight into university and with like um give us that get it with internship in internship yeah <laughs> internship and like volunteer like they're gonna think like oh they gave um they're gonna think like oh this person has give given out their time mm, yeah. so it's that that's a bonus as well 100 percent. also going back to like using all the facilities you have in your uh, college mm -hmm. or uh, sixth Where, form. Yeah. yeah. I went to uh, like a career advisor person, oh. like mm -hmm. when I was about to get in, go for my interviews. And then like she gave me a really good tips and then she gave me like a whole question like of what's to be expected when you go for your interview mm -hmm. and also like we used to have like sessions where we, i used to come in and then she used to uh, go through all the questions oh that's nice although that's nice. yeah although i didn't get it <laughs> sorry talking about <laughs> questions like i used to like google like when did manta go experience mm -hmm. what yeah. what to expect it's expect on the interview and like yeah that yeah. definitely helps i still yeah. do that <laughs> Following on to what Rashmita said, I think career advices are so underrated. Oh yes. Like yeah. um I never thought in my like whole of like my education, career or whatever pathway but no not that mm. oh I should go and speak to a career advisor, maybe like they can help me is that like 
I don't think like they it's talked about enough. Mm. Like career advices are and what they do to make it like so clear to like students about and oh you can go and yeah. like reach to them and they will help you guide you when it again. On top obviously like they're mentioned when you do your induction and stuff but mm. then people usually like cuz don't pay attention to yeah. them they're just yeah. at the back of the mind and yeah. stuff like that. Right? And on top of that, uh, of course, you have that facility out there, but don't be afraid to, of course, reach out to them and contact them. But also go question, you know, relatives, family members that has already given say, what were their experiences like, what they enjoyed the most, what they didn't enjoy. Maybe you can get an idea from them as well. Um, so like going back to like uh, the whole UCAS thing, how long roughly did it take you guys to complete your personal statements? because i re- remember mine it took really long you know um it's a lot back and forth and mm-hmm. your tutor will always tell you like if you have finished your pers- personal statement let me have a look before mm-hmm. you do anything with it mm-hmm. and like i got mine back like quite a few times i honestly don't remember <laughs> but i remember having to like obviously go to the teacher and show it to them i think we had to just email it to them and they'll mm-hmm. come back to you like oh you're boy and when i redo that and then go back and then do it again and then send it to them and they'll tell you you know if you need more work done yeah but i think do they did they provide you or us with a template guideline. yeah i think they do provide you yeah. with like a guideline follow like, that guideline <laughs> yeah follow the guideline and always get your tutor to check it like rashmita any experience for you for me cuz i applied to two different subjects around different times oh so you'd have to write two two oh yeah not yeah <laughs> 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 Not sick ever when I went to art get any oh. that's what I'm talking about. Oh okay. <laughs> different time yeah. yeah different times. Like for nursing cuz it's such a professional um kind of career. Mm. Like that one took really long. Mm. I uh, middle way a career advisor like when they came and then obviously my tutor as well. So yeah. we went back and forth quite a lot. Yeah. So that's why I started with this quite early as well. Yeah. And with art kind of like you have to be So it's like more casual so that I when I went after oh, wow. I've like experienced this mm-hmm. when I went to do art yeah it was so casual I think I only went back and forth like once or twice and then the teacher was like good it's good enough <laughs> and oh, I was like okay wow. cool I was so like, I, I was think expecting more yeah, so, uh, yeah. so I think like also personal statements probably also depend on like what subject you're taking maybe mm-hmm. but I think it's what subject plus what university because I'm just trying to think and I think when I applied for fashion it was pretty casual cuz the even the inter- interview was super casual but when I applied for masters cuz it was University of Southampton I think I had to make it quite professional even mm. though it was still kind of fashion mm. yeah so <laughs> you were so obviously everyone knows I do things last minute <laughs> yes <laughs> I don't know if you are lo- watching me and you're saying, "Oh yeah, that's me as well." <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Like, don't do that. So exactly. I did it last minute, and then yeah, don't be that person. Don't be that one person. <laughs> be prepared. One, one out of hundred. <laughs> yeah, I always, always, I always did it last minute. Which yeah, is, I don't know. So no, do it on time. Mm. No Nepali time, please. <laughs> yeah, with everything. So um what was your um uh, interview process like when, after you applied for university then? Mm. So fashion was like you guys said like it was kind of a professional kind of environment so mm. it was very strict and very scary and all cuz especially with we have to do for fashion for nursing I'm You said fashion. <laughs> Dead <Desert> fashion. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. Fashion. I was like It's a very horrible. professional career. <laughs> Sorry. I meant for nursing. This is what happens when you know you forget shit. <laughs> anyway, so for nursing, yeah, it was a very professional environment here, yeah. city. Um it's definitely yeah, it was like even to a point dress up or when you get because yeah, I feel like yeah. fashion go interviews at the Hades, they obviously have to kind of show the fashion side. Mm-hmm. So it was quite casual, like smart casual, but whereas nursing because it was dead on like proper mm-hmm. straight yeah. proper mm-hmm. st- like smart wear well, like blouse. Oh, I think this is the yeah, I remember like yeah. going to my interviews wearing like um blouse and like smart trousers and yeah. like blazers mm. and, and you know like even that. in like the interview they would say that you can't wear um any gotta be 70 about that high no. get it okay. bigger heels oh really? Really? really really which one was that where i don't Sorry? know but i feel like it was on like one of the 
don't know. Because I swear I saw people with heels. They don't like that's why when I went when I went to the interviews, I was like, oh my god, is she gonna get rejected? Is he gonna get told off? Or not he 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 doesn't like you know, like some people who were not like dressed smart enough, I would like kinda Look at judge them and kind of judge oh, yeah. So I can think, wait, Damn. are they going to pass? Oh wait. yeah, I I think I was going to say something ah, I forgot <laughs> um, You know like interviews other here yeah, I always used to think like you have to um, Tie your hair up Because oh, it looks, yeah. it looks smart. 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 professional yeah. And smart So I used to always tie my hair up when I, oh. Every time I go to an interview <laughs> I mean, as long as it's looking somewhat decent, not like not that go Like, come on, yeah. So, um, um, they probably be okay with yeah. that. Mm-hmm. With like, uh, because I mean, you and me, we've got two different experience from two mm. different sides of the two different university. <laughs> yeah, sides of different courses. The courses, yeah. 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 For me, like uni, um, when I went to nursing interviews, that was like really scary. Yeah, and they're like so professional and. Mm. Yeah, so on it, you know. Yeah. yeah, but with like when I went from a graphic design interview, it was so casual, and obviously you have to talk about your work and stuff. But then I felt like I talked so much more about my portfolio mm. with my mm. teacher as well, and then I felt like oh, this uni might chase me. <laughs> <laughs> but mine is I don't know. I can't relate to other fashion students because, like I said, I didn't go through UCAS. So I just mm. contacted the university. So um, the teacher who was in charge like contacted me back, and then we kind of decided to meet on a certain day and portfolio So it was very casual. So it, it makes me think it's an oru oru. If I had gone through UCAS, would there have been like a group presentation, a group interview, the yeah. sitting room, thinking with it now? Because that's was, what I felt, but ours was, was like one to one, well. yeah. yeah, all throughout them. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But maybe where, for like creative fields it's a lot more difficult to judge in like a group because mm. like creativity can be very different for yeah. every individual yep 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 whereas going into like um subjects like accounting where i i heard like you don't even have yeah you don't need to do Whoa, as long as your shop. results are good yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah so you just go straight through to the question i can't do you guys <laughs> I, I was that. like mind blown that you didn't have to go yeah. and speak to them one to one. Whereas like nursing, like for me, it was really like Rosmita said, it was so scary. Yeah, I mean like, it's good that plus, they wanna plus uh, the math and English tests. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they don't have that other 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 reminder. They know, especially Doctors. for accounting. I feel like you should. You yeah. you're doing maths. Yeah, <laughs> but I guess like one of the reasons that they are they would have gone chosen is because they're good at it. So I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Should we move on? Move on to what about applying, or is there? Yeah, I just said. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, it was scary. Was it? Was it? Uh, how many university um interview did you go to? I think I went to all four. Was oh. it all the same, or was it different, or no? Like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> put you on the spot there. Eh? <laughs> no, I'm just, I, I don't want to say like the bad unis, but like I did have like a few universities which were like lower on the ranks of like yeah. you know lower tier lower tier <laughs> um and then comparing those to like the higher achieving universities there was like a few differences like um about i don't know because if yeah so i agree with that because yeah. like our one of the top being of a we mentioned it uh sorry you know, yeah. there was the lower tier one which i'm not gonna mention um you know as a university i think they are quite good the nursing goes they were honestly so terrible any um you know how we said nursing was so professional and all that yeah. that specific one university it, but they were so unprofessional and a nursing the building when it was like in a completely different which i understand but it was so like compared to what they put it out there on the website and everything yeah. it looks like what are the building mm. or mm-hmm. any um, application form or any like like teacher like a reference or the he everything I I was able to see all everything yeah oh. it was really bad and last week they did offer me a place but I was like uh oh like my standards are better than that <laughs> but yeah that university was there let's not yeah. I don't want to listen to gut as well mm. but yeah if you like do choose like a higher tier and a lower tier like you might be able to see like the subtle or even like big differences, differences yeah. and that also like I think highly influences where you go mm. you kind of get a sense of like oh university go life cost there is so what kind of people mm. you're going to be around with yeah. teachers yeah should we move on to the next yeah, area. we can move on to the next area. Um, applying for a job was it? Oh yeah, applying for jobs. Yeah. So, 
Well, how old were you guys when you applied for your first jobs? 16. We were all, I think we, we were, were all young. like 16. I was, I was, first, I was 17, 14. I was, in, I was in. I was 14. Having yeah, worked was for like 10 years of my life. <laughs> oh, 10 years I've been working. <laughs> Not fair. Oh my God. I didn't choose this life because the job chose you. God damn that it. The life chose you. But yeah, like the but first job one, so 14 age math, thought it was like working for a friend go nail salon. So mm-hmm. it wasn't very like strict discipline, mm-hmm. okay? Just casual word of mouth. Yeah. Let's just say let's just keep it at that. <laughs> so yeah, it was uh day theory, Did you do it? it? I think at first it wasn't that like it just no, went down. Do you guys saw like um just Ramri Theo Bonsu Monday Pali Mo Bonsu you see? <laughs> because j- just Theo, just first experience, interesting okay. one um, of our next person to get out there, they didn't know about you know. <laughs> Me, when I applied for jobs at 16, I didn't get in. I don't know why. Do you remember what you applied to? What was the first job? I don't remember. But because I couldn't get into any jobs, I did that course, that security course. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Everyone yes, did yes. that. For the money. For our Nepali viewers, eh? Like, there's probably a lot of you who did this as well. Yeah. <laughs> Just for that one day. Is that still going on? I, I don't think right? so. Yeah, no, I, I feel like so. um, there is. Because Austin is a... My brother did it last year, the year before. Mm. And you know what? Aromata, obviously, we got paid for it as well. But yeah. our brother, like our brother, my brother, he got paid for it. And he got a laptop. Which oh, he doesn't wow. even use, yeah. by the way. How old yeah, is we didn't get none of that. Anyways. But yes, we did that. And then, it was fun, man. Mm. That was fun. Yeah, I didn't do it because like at that time, I already had a job. So like... Yeah. They went and I never got to experience the fun times. It wasn't that fun, honestly. <laughs> it was. Uh, do you remember that little field trip we had to do? No, because I didn't go to the field trip. I just went to study and I wasn't able to go to the trip. Oh, you know, to you no, I didn't. So it wasn't really fun for then. I don't know. Probably not. Should I have to <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I well, think yeah. I was about yeah sixteen as well when I applied for jobs. I just applied everywhere like KFC, Sainsbury's. What was your first job? My first job is still my last job. <laughs> so you've only been in one, are you, Sati? Yeah. <gasps> wow. So, wow. I think that's the same for me. Yeah, but then I was quite late because of mm-hmm. like Blymouth. Yeah. After after I finished college and then um, obviously I didn't get into university. Yeah. <laughs> I went straight to work and then I just applied for anywhere. And then I, and then, um, I think I was 20. Or you old. 19, 20, 21. <laughs> I don't know. Mm-hmm. But quite old. Maybe older than you guys. <laughs> Maybe younger than that. If you're saying after college, like What's 17, it? 18, because 18 months the university students, that's all. Yeah, 21 is when you graduate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When you graduate girl. Maybe 19, mm, probably 19 then. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I mean, like yeah. in between, I had another job, but like I still kept my first job. But yeah. I've been in my first job. Damn. But I'm then, but then I'm 25 now. I've worked there. Um, <laughs> still counting five, five years. Go <laughs> maybe then starting at twenty. Maybe, maybe. 20, yeah. 20. I remember two thousand fifteen. Okay, two thousand fourteen. Um, November. Damn. <laughs> so, what advice would you give to the viewers? You know, obviously, you've at least you have had the experience of applying for a job, going mm-hmm. for an interview. Like, what are the steps that you took, or the advice you give to the viewers? Prepare, 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 prepare. What you're going to say, <laughs> I would say oh, yeah. that. 100%. Yes. Especially for the interview. It's like you so know, nervous. like a lot of people give this advice, like practice while looking at a mirror. It yeah. helps. Guys, it helps. Does it really? Yeah. Do you know, and also what I tend to do is <laughs> practice right it out loud. Yeah. You can hear yourself. We want Zinni. And also if it helps, practice with your friends and family. Mm. Mm. Um, you know how you said practice your answers? Mm. There is this one YouTuber. Um, her name is <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, shit. <laughs> um so yeah she's basically hold on a second because honestly i would recommend her to anyone because i recently found her mm-hmm. so she's a coach speaker and a career strategist okay. um her name is linda rayner yeah so basically she has lots of videos on like oh answering what's your weakness and any oh. like the typical standard questions that you get she'll oh. tell you oh, like or where do you see yourself in five years she'll give you tips on how to structure it and mm-hmm. it's very Check her out, basically. Yeah. Prepare your answers. Yeah. Also, like, know what your weaknesses and your strengths are. Mm. Like, I always struggle with that. 
but well, not so much now but like back at that time yeah. at that age i was like oh i don't know what my weaknesses are so the main thing you know, that you got to consider is you know when the interviewer says uh what are your weaknesses make sure it's something that it's not exactly a weakness, so it yeah. has to be some sort of... Something you can work on. Yeah. Well, yeah, and apparently, from Linda, what you should do is, um, whatever your weakness is, you should also follow up the answer with, but uh, with the recent mm. Kati, Kati months, I've been trying to work on it too, and then show that you've made a progress, mm-hmm. that you, you, know, you are aware of that weakness, and you're working towards you know making it a strength or something yeah so that's something as well. Yeah, like for me, it used to be communication and confidence, and then like after... Like interviewer am I you'd be like you do not want to say that. <laughs> I did say it, but then yeah. I was like, but having worked at this uh, per- place yeah, for yeah. so and so years, I've gained it. Yeah. yeah. That's a good way to put it, yeah. <laughs> also like knowing what your skills are. Mm. Mm. I struggled a lot with that when mm. I was young. Like I didn't know what skills I had. And your hobbies. Your <laughs> mm. hobbies. Questions, guess. Oh, also um time management. Man- oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. No, so nobody. If you are, if you're late for your interview, then that's they're gonna a think big no, no. Do you know what my dad says? Because he's on the end of where he um, recruits people, so he says that you know, obviously, we have to show up early to an interview. Mm-hmm. Um, the good time would be about fifteen to ten minutes. So yeah. you don't want to show up too early. Yeah. Like yeah. it's not gonna look good, Rick, eh? which you know you would think was in yeah. oh, yeah. But no, it's best to go between like ten to fifteen minutes uh, prior to the interview time. Mm. Oh, another thing, of course, you have to research what the role is. Like, obviously, uh, job yeah. specs are ones, and like, yeah. definitely research that. And if you don't understand, Google it. But the other thing is, the most likely the company will ask you, uh, what do you know about us? So definitely Google the company, know what yeah. you're putting yourself, you know, signing up yourself for. Signing your yeah. life away, too. <laughs> don't say it like that. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely, you need to know what company you're working for, what they yeah. do. Yeah. Um, if they have any clients, what are, who are their clients, you know, kind of. Thing. Also, you have to personalize your CV towards that company you're applying oh, yeah. for, yeah. Or else it's going to be the same, like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to it's gonna be annoying to tailor CVs according mm-hmm. to each job role. However, it will honestly work in your favor. Because I think the employers will know if it's a generic standard yeah, as a CV. Yeah. yeah, so definitely, definitely do that. Also, like some companies, um, when you apply for jobs, they do like a questionnaire thing. Oh yeah. Before, before oh, yeah. you actually have the interview, you yeah. have to fill out actually, a question. Yes. I hate yeah, those. Yeah. 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 Oh. For those, like when I do it as like myself, be honest, I, I <laughs> never get through to the second stage. But when I do it as what the employer oh, wants, yeah. like I get through. So always, <laughs> so, like I'm not saying cheat in life, so but you have to, yeah. Fake yeah. it till you make it. Yeah. <laughs> You have to think from like the uh, employer's perspective, yeah. like what they would want, not like, of course, like you, you want a job, but like yeah. you need to like see it from the other side as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll we'll get into that yeah. in a bit. Um, so the other thing that I had was, especially when you're applying for a first, well, first job on the line, just when you're applying for a job, of course, be picky on which area you want to go to, but don't be too picky. Like, mm. last time going up. And then, I, what I used to do was apply your job. And, but the thing with me, every job that I apply to, I feel like you can't say, definitely fall to. I always think like that. And then, person, nobody say, I'm like, oh, damn it. And if you're next one, apply it now. Don't wait for the reply because most yeah. of the times they won't even reply to you because they've got thousands of applications that are you know, handed in. They still apply for the head. It's out of the apply for but obviously be picky, but don't be too picky. Mm. To be honest, yeah. I was quite picky because, like, like yeah, because, like, I didn't want to work in, like, um, fast food. food. Fast food. I know. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> but then everyone was. So. But you learn so much from yeah, yeah, it, though. Yeah. Like, you get whole, experience yeah. and that's what mm. that's what the employer wants to say. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if this is actually good or not. I mean, I do it just in case when it right now. Like, um, when I go to a interview, I always take a copy of my CV and cover letter with me. Mm-hmm. I mean, there hasn't been really any time where I have to pull it out and show it to them or whatever. But just in case, book that book ramro. Also, your documents like your passport, like mm-hmm. a photocopy of that. They'll like uh, They'll even if they don't it. need it, it's good yeah. to be prepared because yeah. sometimes they might not have it. And then yeah. There's that. Oh, along with the taking your CV, do you take your notepad and a pen as well? Like, if mm-hmm. there's any questions, oh my god. Oh yeah, questions. Questions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> yes. That's yeah, the, we forgot the big one. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, like every interview.
interviewer will ask you, do you have any questions for us? At the end of the interview. And it's good to have that question. Yeah, rather than saying no. Yeah, at least <laughs> even if it's just like one or two questions. What are your ask. question suggestions that you have? Like I usually go with um, what what's like, what if I've worked here for a certain time of, Certain amount of time. What is my like career progression? Progression like oh, yeah. or stuff mm-hmm. like oh, that's that. really good. Yeah, that's, that's a good question. That's the one I. Asked. I googled it. Thanks. But <laughs> thank you, Google. <laughs> but make sure that uh, whatever questions you've asked, you are listening constantly. Oh yeah. Like when I go feeling, you might end up repeating what mm-hmm. they've already yeah. answered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's good to have some spare questions. Spare questions. <laughs> yeah. The other good one that I uh, know is and use is what are the key things that you expect from your employee? Oh. Yeah. That kind of makes. Um, it kind of makes you aware of like, hey, your your employment is it? So they want this from you, but it, it kind of helps you prepare further. And the other question is, uh, what are, what is the company culture like as well? So that's a good one to ask. If they say something like, oh, it's a very high demanding job, you know, this is a high fast environment. When you kind of know in company mm-hmm. culture, cost the rates are so definitely have your questions, spare questions as well prepared. Yeah, it's not good to ask about the. Money, yeah. money. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we all want to know, yeah. but but they'll mention it after mm. you've got in. And yeah. also, like if you like run out of questions to say, ask if you, they like the job. The person who's interviewing oh, you, yeah, yes. like yeah, and then they can talk about their job role as well. And then you can breathe for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very important to kind of have like that communication mm. with them, because if you do get the job, you're gonna be working with them, <laughs> working for them. Yeah. So. Yes. Yeah. Um, they also ask you for like um, reference and yeah. Oh um, yeah, yeah. So make sure you have um, good mm-hmm. reference, I guess. Yeah. And for the newbies or people that haven't had experience, mm-hmm. um, so one thing you could do is obviously volunteer. You can get write that down in your CV as experience what you did because a lot of volunteer is a lot to do with um, customer service at this moment. So you you learn a lot from them. But also with the reference thing, if you don't have any reference. A good thing to put down is your college, university, teacher, or like yeah. okay, they'll give you a reference as well. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Swiftly moving on to Swiftly what we're moving on. Moving on. Oh yeah. What to do options after college enough? Mm. Oh yes. Yeah. You need to cover that as well. So yeah, first thing first, don't think university is the only option for you, darling, because it's not. Yeah, we talked about <laughs> that's job. what that's I thought point. when I was yeah. young. Yeah. yeah. But I guess we've all had like that thing was put into our mind because yeah. so we thought oh no that is the only path but do it right now yeah so that's not the only path for you because like stop it and go you deal with it yeah mm. it's different for everyone so what are the options guys so like we've already mentioned internship is one yeah jobs just going to a full-time job is another one mm. yeah just full-time employment apprenticeships yeah yes. apprenticeship page well. where you work traineeship as well oh it's similar to i think apprenticeship but then i think you're um, getting trained in the yeah, job for the job oh, yeah okay also when you're in a full-time education um <laughs> <laughs> full-time, full-time job like employees they usually offer mbqs as well so mm-hmm. that you can go up a step up a climb level. up that ladder yeah. you know oh there's military because I think mm. 16, I know, after yeah, that you can yeah. go into army. And there's a lot of options out there, just army when yeah, you think you're not just fighting. Be, yeah. But yeah, there's a lot yeah. of options. Because that's what we thought before, that's right? That's what I thought. My yeah. I thought, like, oh my god, army when I see the mother. But now I look into it, I'm like, it's like it's a bad like like college. Mm, mm, yeah, yeah, like, I never knew until, like, very recently, actually, that, like, even um, under... Uh, military that you can go into like different parts and they will mm. actually fund it uh, fund it and like um, the course or seek on top of it all um oh yeah there's... so it's like a two-in-one like a win-win situation mm-hmm. you get into the military and you also get like the course or training that you want to do um the other good thing to do is with the traineeships and apprenticeships and all that it's good to go on to gov.uk in mm-hmm. within your local area um i think austin malika they came up with the police so mm-hmm. with that one of course you don't need um qualification but mm-hmm. well, you don't need a university degree yeah um if you, they have their own police academy so there's different roles that you, you can go into so there's that as well yeah Anything else? I think those are like the main points, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or that we're not 
um, and a cat in our language. We haven't yeah, researched we're not enough. Yeah, aware of yet. Mm. But I don't know. Times may have changed for like the younger generation. And I mean, we are talking from our experience. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. maybe six, seven years ago. So a lot of the younger generations. What I've seen is that they are their own like gods and inter. Um, entrepreneur but after new business oh. center worth any so i mean this is the time to try it and if you have a business idea go for it you know yeah there's no mm-hmm. like you don't have a family to look after mm-hmm. so like if it fails it's a learning cr- curve because give us okay no mm-hmm. failure is every failure is a lesson there we go <laughs> also there's the internet if you want to be a youtuber you want to be a tiktoker if you want to <laughs> <try. laughs> Why oh, yeah, with the yeah. social media has yeah. created so much jobs? Instagram. Yeah. yeah. You know, Google job man, they ask for like um even GCSEs. Yeah. Yeah. see yeah. What if um what if people that have failed GCSEs? You can always not, take it, kinda of retake, retake it just yeah. for yeah. Yeah, But rejects. not all jobs will ask for that. They all jobs ask for that? I don't know. I don't think so. Like oh but if you're working for <laughs> what example? I mean, usually, when you the do, company, when you do apply for like many jobs, it is the uh, well, you need to give your educational background. Mm. So, but I then mean, some people I don't like, know. Yeah, I, don't I guess what you could do, now. you know, how you said keep on into a situation. So maybe what you could do is start as a volunteer or do work experience, and they will see you for how you work and how you are, rather than judge you based on mm. your grade. Okay, so that's the way to enter. And then they'll go in. Let's say like you do your work experience for a couple of months or even a year or so, and then you apply for that job, even though you've got that grade. And then if you don't have that grade, um, they'll see how you've already worked, and they'll be like, oh, actually, we'll make an exception. We'll bring you on. Fundamental. So there's always an option, basically. <laughs> Moral of the story. If you're gonna be a traveler, go do that. But you need money you need for money. that, darling. Yeah. You save up. But you need a job for that. <laughs> you work. No, you need grace you know, for like that. Nepali, you you have that rich parent. Buy to go to celebration the rooms. Save your money. money. Yeah, use it on things that is gonna you, be beneficial. Yeah, you need. Not you want. Like you, I you heard see? someone saving up all that money, you know, like lunch money and stuff. Yeah. And then they used to end up buying like a high quality shoes or something like that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. There's always a way. There is always a way. There's so, always a way if you there's a will. A, yeah. what, if there is a will, <laughs> there is a way. <laughs> okay, swiftly. <laughs> Again, so once again, <laughs> once again, moving on to I guess this last segment of this video, we're going to discuss what your employer wants from you. Mm. Okay, I think <laughs> so. Basically, you're in that field, uh, management field. You basically have a team that you look after, yeah, right so, now. So, yeah. what do you expect what from you? them? What things? I mean, like of course, like any good employer would want you to be reliable. Mm-hmm. So like again, this comes ties in with like the whole time management thing that everyone has already mentioned. Oh, like be on time. Like um, also tying in with like the interviews. Like when you arrive ten or fifteen minutes early, mm-hmm. it is always good that you arrive to your shift ten fifteen minutes early as well. Mm-hmm. So then you just kind of like get to settle in, like know where everything is, and just kind of refresh yourself on like what's happening on that day. Mm-hmm. Um. What about you guys? Like, what do you think? Like, other points about? Mm. <laughs> Definitely on that time management thing, and also being very organized. Mm. Yeah, organized, and yeah. always come to work looking very neat. Yeah, yeah. That's what presentation is everything. Yeah. Yeah. Like, not only to yourself, but like the company that you're working for, that you're representing. Yeah. You are representing yeah. them. Don't always think like on any oh kamato to one of those. Yeah, don't think that. I have seen people, you know, interview Akubelama that they're wearing like jeans. I know, like what is up with that? I mean, like you're going somewhere now who maybe like is offering you a job and you come there in like your joggers, like nah, that's not on. <laughs> 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 like that. <laughs> like that's not on, that's not it. <laughs> like if I were an employer, like if I so you came in coming in like it's that. A straight like, no. No. Because like, you know what? Our first, in, first yeah, impressions. impressions yeah. Our lasting impressions. I would not 100%. even like accept the interview. I'd be like, no, interview cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to reschedule. <laughs> no, not even reschedule. You're denied. And then you just don't even get back to them. Okay. But then again, like taking into like 
um, another account that they might be from like a poor background. So when you do interview them, if they do show like a good reliable side, then mm -hmm. you know you yeah. can take them on. Yeah, hard worker. I guess that goes to you know how you said presentation of Ebony. I guess confidence. I was mm. gonna link that up. Okay, like if you have that confidence, mm. if you show your commitment, yeah, commitment, that would be a good yes. one, huh? That will be. Good you don't want somebody who just like outsani like is in of us like. Mm. So I think for employees, that is like the one biggest thing. Like once they hire you, they want you to be reliable. So like um yeah like Barsha said like you you, you just don't want to be coming in for work like a few months and just like disappear off. Mm. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Oh yeah, and then um, within the first, after you you got the job, there's like a three month probation, yeah. oh, isn't yes. it? Yeah, probationary. Yeah. Sometimes keep that in mind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if you do anything bad, you're gonna get fired. So just behave until the three month, <laughs> <laughs> and then you can be <laughs> and then you're trapped. Whatever you want. You, know? <laughs> you can come in late. <laughs> no, you can't don't do that. <laughs> If anyone out there is applying for a job for the first time or to our young viewers, like, do mm -hmm. keep that in mind. You are always being watched even though you feel like you're not and you're just doing the what, like, whatever. Yeah, just because yeah. you're in doesn't mean you're actually in it. Yeah, yeah, so you are always being like watched. Your um, time records are always being checked. Like how you're interacting with other people. Mm -hmm. It's all getting... It's all getting watched and reviewed from time to time. Mm. Yeah, I was gonna say something. I completely forgot. It was something. It was very important. It'll go back to me. Oh, I would also say like good social skills. Mm. Yeah, which is very difficult for like some a lot of people. People like actually a lot of people like even like as our friends here who are introverts and like find it difficult to communicate with people. Like it is something that you should be building up and. You should be able to show that to your employer that, oh, you know what, I can actually talk to this person, I can talk to that person, you can, like, rely on me, yeah. type of thing. I was going to say, of course we mentioned the whole fake it till you make it, but don't obviously lie, yeah. you constantly <laughs> lie, or yeah. say something completely out, like, yeah. you, you need to be honest, like, only yeah. certain things lie about, but you need to be honest, because, like, you can't go into a job like, oh, I've never had a criminal record, and when they do the check, yeah. they yeah, 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 a yeah. criminal record. Because that's going to be a big red flag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, definitely, like, yeah. That, that will probably damage. land you in more trouble. Oh, Jesus, yeah. really? <laughs> because, like, why would you lie about such a big thing in the mm. first place anyway? And then, this grandma, I guess, if you tell the truth, then the, maybe the employer will give you a chance. Like, yeah. only that is truth when you. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Also, you need to have a professional um, email address. <laughs> Oh yeah. You that can't be like yo with any sexy nefs ninety five hashtag my old email address. <laughs> oh, Although I don't think like younger generation do that oh, nowadays, yeah. but back in our back in our yeah. day. Oh, yeah. We can get a whole new episode with that. Oh yeah, yeah. even like social media and everything. They check oh, that yeah, as well, yeah. don't they? So yeah. don't so make post, sure. Don't be post posting like deputy oh, Yeah, especially like things like this is from experience. Not not that I've done it, but I've been told. But if you're going to like our body, this the nursing or um you're applying for a GP or something to do with NHS jobs, don't be like saying negative shit about yeah, NHS. Don't bash it. Not even just saying it about the sharing means or mm -hmm. that like directly affects them. Yeah, exactly. with any company. With any yeah. company, yeah. yeah. So whatever, okay, this is the important one. Whatever you say and put out there online, even if you delete it, it's still there in the cloud. Mm. It's still there somewhere, so. That also kind of like links in with like every workplace's um, social media policy. So like when you do get in like a ball camp, I see some of every um, company has their own social policy, social media policy. Mm. So if you go against that, then you will get called into the office and say, look, what is this? This is not acceptable. Mm. Um, not a really, what I'm about to say, not really a um, tip from the from the interviewer. There is just something what I do before uh, going to an interview is that I, a lot of those companies now are on LinkedIn. Mm. Oh yeah, first of all, make a LinkedIn. No, no, keep it professional. There are also, um, what I tend to do is reach out to the company on LinkedIn, look at the you know, their update cards and the latest project, what they've worked on. And you can also put faces to it. Like for example, if I have an interview with like Daniel, something from this certain company i can just look that up and be like hey you man it's the right oh, and then oh. i feel a little bit less calm like I, yeah. I know what to expect who to expect so mm -hmm. that's another advice i feel like i'm talking too much i'm out of breath <laughs> but i think yeah that kind of like highlights some of the things that mm -hmm. your employer would want from you yeah yeah that's it
Like be able to communicate clearly as well. Mm. I would say that. Oh, don't speak too fast or too slow. <laughs> um, yeah. I guess good attitude. Oh mm, yes, yeah, positive. Yeah. A willingness to work and learn new things. Yeah. Oh my god, I cannot stress that enough. <laughs> <laughs> like from my point of view personally. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> mm. But yeah. yeah, I mean, anything you guys can think of. No. My think, brains yeah, gone like that is fried. Like the most of it. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks. <laughs> I guess we'll just wrap this up and all. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, episode. like it kind of like helps Help. you guys yeah. and us. Oli kudi boy bani. If mm-hmm. not, look up that lady. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna put yes. her name down. Like she's honestly so good. Yeah, I'll like send it to you guys as well. You can have a look. Like even it, not only just job rela- related, she mm. does like oh Zani, uh, what to do if you're feeling sad or how do you how do you you know I don't know cope with stress. Oh, like yeah, that, even yeah. stuff like that. It's not just tailored to work. Yeah. Right? Okay, Auburn mm. says she's quite helpful. Watch her videos. Oh, cool then. Right. In the comments, right? Lina sent me here. You guys are not <laughs> joking. Uh, yeah. Let's wrap that up for this episode. Thanks okay. for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, it's been quite helpful. Yeah. Don't forget to, to like, subscribe, and comment, comment down, down below. below. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.